and then we get on the road mm -hmm. and we go down and we're gonna go see these two places today start from the top beach <laughs> down to the bottom beach okay so you've covered it that's it we're going, to, we're going to the beach. Beach. This is a pretty cool trail down off the road to get up to a swimming hole. It looks like well, that's not a bad view for a site. And this is a Reserve, beach reserve? Yes. Which means it's $5 per person, per night, kids under 16, they are mm -hmm. free. So it's $10 with an ocean view. This Class C stuff is much tighter than we're used to, like back in the States with monster rates. But it is the coolest feeling to pull in somewhere and be like, done. I don't even have to get outside. I know! We will share with you that we felt like we had made a pretty significant mistake today. Yes. Because of our little mishap with the gray tank, we were going through Melbourne. Melbourne? Which is Melbourne, Melbourne, and, and it's Melbourne. a wine town, vineyard. And then Trish Marlboro? says, well, Marlboro, and she says, she, we stopped, and I really wasn't feeling it, so I said, no, I don't really want to go stop and it. It was out. like beautiful vineyard after beautiful, beautiful vineyard. Beautiful. It was beautiful like vineyard. driving through Napa. Like, huh? Yes. <laughs> and so then we, uh, so we didn't stop then because it was so close to when we just left and then we wanted to kind of make some progress, yeah. right? And then about another 45 minutes down the road, we saw all these cars over the bridge and I was going to stop because there's yeah, so yeah. many cars. Mm -hmm. And then we passed the bridge and I couldn't turn around. And then we said, well, do you want to go back? No, we'll, we'll keep going because I couldn't turn around. We and found out that was a Lord of the Rings location. Is this big swimming hole. Yeah. So, big mistake. So, I'm going to write down mm -hmm. our big mistakes in, like, the different In the blog itineraries. we're sharing so that you don't, you you know. But, but here's the real mistake. The real mistake is I lost sight of the fact that the best things about this type of travel mm -hmm. is to stop and investigate and, and experience something that you had no concept of. Mm -hmm. That's the best part. When you have everything listed out perfectly and you just go from da 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 da, da, da. maybe it's better than you thought, maybe it's not better than you thought, but there's not enough room for spontaneity. Mm -hmm. And so I'm st I, st I lost sight today of the bigger picture, so I'm reminding you. And it's not just New Zealand, it's anything. If it's right in the States or Canada or Mexico or, or anywhere you're traveling. But you should have your own TED talk. Leave room <laughs> for spontaneity. She's never the funniest dog duo ever, okay? One of them goes and catches the stick. The other one barks the entire time. He's like the cheerleader. He brings the stick back, gives it to the barker, and then the barker gives it to Caleb, and then they rethrow it. Teamwork. Teamwork. No. Teamwork. <laughs> when the perfect time to get a dog is. When, when? When we leave New Zealand and go home. Yes. Because we're just gonna be touring around the entire United States. Yes and we'll be with a dog every day. So don't you think that's a plan? To get a dog, a puppy. A puppy. In a rig. In a rig. Through full-time traveling boys. and two teenage boys yes. around the States. Yes, it's the perfect time. It is a plan, it's not a good one. <laughs> it's a perfect one. It's not just good, it's great. Not 100% on that. Leave a comment below if you want to see Oh, it don't even. <laughs> don't even. <laughs> Season 7, around the United States. But the most important part is, let's get a dog. Well, hello there. 
I am just checking out where we're going. It's called Kai Tiri Tiri Recreation Reserve. Mm -hmm. It's like 30 minutes up the way. Looks fantastic. Today's Sunday, so I think all the crowds will be clearing. Just like this place, I mean, everybody was out of here. Well, the other tip I was gonna share with you is the same app I use to locate cell phone coverage in the States works fantastic out here. It's called Open Signal, and I have the exact cell phone coverage per like location. It's like a little plotted, plotted map type situation. So the uh, app looks like this right here, and if you can see that, and it gives me green and red and like orange areas. So you can see the little dot that we're on, maybe. And uh, and so what we do is, if it's before we book up there, I can go up and I can see the exact location, and I can get a sense for the signal. But anyway, open signal. Check it out. Great app. Not an ad. Not an affiliate. They're like not only windy, they're like lopsided. I love it. This is like being in San Francisco. Look, it's like being—it's it's like a Hot Wheels. Oh, look at this beach. Oh yeah. And this is where the RV park is, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I think this is as good as time as any to share with you how the dumping procedures work. We've got, uh, we thought we would empty because we dry camped last night before we pull into our site. Even though we can walk the cassette over, we just figured we'd stop. And then the RV provides a nice little privacy wall. Yeah. So you're not, you know. You don't, you, you don't need to do the walk of shame if you don't have to. All right. So I got these gloves that Wilderness provided. And I think they provided enough where we don't even have to buy any more. So anyhow, the cassette is stored right here. Trisha. This is the cassette, and it just comes, it comes right out. And we've put chemicals in there. We've put chemicals in there so that it's not really that stinky and everything breaks down. And because it's so small and we use an entire tablet, it ends up like the water is like completely blue. So it's not even like, it theoretically is not that disgusting. What we have here is this little thing goes out here like this, and you take this thing off like that, and you pick it up like this. And I'm gonna go like this just to give you a little bit of shield, shield you. I'll shield just see you. And then I just, uh, I just do that. And you just let it drain. I'll show you. I'll show you what to do when it's done. But it's, it's really not that gross. We need to play elevator music while that's going. And then, you know, because of the chemicals, it doesn't even smell, which is nice. And then once that's Okay, and once that's sufficiently drained, you take this out here like this and turn this knob and that opens it up. And they provide, at all dumping stations, they provide a little hose. And you fill it up with water like so. And then you can swish that around and dump it out one more time. I guess this is the boys clothes hanger? Yes. Clothes line, well, as I've they re say? I've, re I've relocated them from the ground <laughs> to their ladder. Trish, the ground is where we keep things. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay. Exactly. But I know right where they are. That turns smelly and at least that will be ready for the next round of swimming. But they met friends. They did. So they're off, they're like doing things, which has been great for us today because it's super windy and all of our plans have gone well, nothing. the boat ride didn't look that great, and the mountain biking because the wind. I mean, windy. Right now, it's not yeah, windy at all. The only reason it doesn't look good is because it's so windy. Yes. So maybe mountain biking will still... There's called the Taste Trail. Okay. It looks so cool. So it's 17 kilometers to the little town that we look drove through. Look at you through. with your kilometers. Know, which is about 10 miles. Amazing. I had to look it up. <laughs> oh, well, anyway, that's okay. Um, but it was 17 kilometers, okay. which is 10 miles. Uh -huh. And then you go and you can taste and you can buy stuff from the orchards and all okay. that stuff. So I say we release the video. It's done. Yeah. The pressure's off. The boys are gone. The boys are enjoying You want to go friends. out with a mountain bike ride with me then? I want to go out with you. Oh, that sounds good. And we'll go and get something to eat over there? Yeah. You want to leave a note with the boys? No, I told them, I said, do you want us to go look for you when we go on this ride? They were like, no. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. So, anyway. Well, let's ditch them and go. Let's do it. So this is supposed to be the Great Taste Trail. And we can go and taste all kinds of stuff at different cafes. I think we're gonna come across those orchards, maybe even a vineyard. Trish, if you're ever in doubt of where to go, just follow the signs of the wine glass and the fork and knife. Like every good ride. How's it going? This is fun, is it? I kind of feel like I'm on a ride. I'll also have a kid's blueberry. I hope you can hear us in all this wind. We found what we were looking for. Or did we? Oh, I did. <laughs> Here's a hot tip. First time you see this real fruit ice cream, mm -hmm. you're gonna be like, give me the biggest one they have. <laughs> but you're gonna eat it so many times that <laughs> you should switch over to the kid's size. Save you a buck. So that you can continue to eat them wherever you find them. Yes. Guilt free. Yes. Amazing. They really are quite fantastic. And the chunks of ice cream, it's like real homemade ice cream and then they like mm -hmm. slice it and they put the cube inside the twister with the fruit. Mm. So good. So good. Oh, forget the brakes on the opposite side. I'm gonna call that the ice cream ride. <laughs> and not the, the ice cream trail. And not the what was it supposed to be called? The taste trail? Yes. Because well, it's not like there was ample places to eat where you could go a few miles and stop somewhere and nibble on something and well that trail is like 60 miles long okay. it goes from nelson where we started yesterday all the way to here okay so we did 16 miles we did yeah eight miles out and eight miles back. and if we would have added five more miles we would have gotten to the really big town and then we would have had lots to so we would have rode about two and a half more miles and then we would have had a lot more food options yes but then we decided on the trail that if we sit down to a glass of wine and a nice dinner, that we gotta ride eight some miles back. I don't think I'm ready for that. So we decided to just be satisfied with the real fruit ice cream tour. So I think that was plenty. So we rode to this town right here, uh -huh. and we had our real fruit ice cream, Yes. and we rode back. And this trail was magnificent, and there were lots of different options. There were expert trails, and intermediate trails, and beginning trails, but it was my, I would say, second most favorite bike mountain bike ride. It was amazing. I mean, it wasn't crazy technical and challenging, but it was just the way it It could have been it if you wanted, remember? Because yeah. there are hard trails. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. And it turns out that's what the boys have been doing all day. They've been going on those trails. Yes. So lots of fun. Now let's go out to dinner. Date night. Yay. Boys are still content. Good. So why don't we find another RV park with tons of teenagers? Let's just let's go. Let's just keep doing this. Just keep doing this. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that rig, huh? It's fancy. Isn't that awesome? Mm-hmm. This right here is amazing. It's called a lolly mix. And really it's just candy. But candy here is called lollies. You need to hunt these down and find them because they are amazing. Well, and they're only a dollar at the register. Well, I got the $2 mix because I knew we were sharing. Oh. So anyway, but they're amazing. Candy is equals lollies. Lollies equals candy. In case we haven't covered this. I think you've gotten the point though mm. about this location. And that is that I've never seen so many teenagers in my life at an, at an RV, RV park. Yeah. Holiday ever. park. Ever. And so if you have kids with teenagers. Tween. Tween. Tweens and teen, teens. Teens. You can't not come here. 
No, it is the busiest there's beach. There's also little kids because there's no huge waves. Yes. It's like super kid friendly. So kids of any age. Kids of any age. We're just, um, we just have are teenagers. hanging and, out here. So the fact that our kids are of the age where we can leave for most of the day. And you know, look, think about it. How many yes. countries, how many places on this planet would you feel comfortable letting our boys just go off? Not, Not very, very many. many. Not very many. <laughs> Here's this guy. Where are you guys going? Um, this is like go. to give you a uh, knuckle oh, sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> All right, have fun. Okay, buddy. That is so pretty. Good morning. We've already gone, gotten a cup of coffee, and now I'm making egg sandwiches. This glassy is actually, it's working for me. I've already made some bacon. The bread here is fantastic. Fresh ciabatta. And I'm toasting it in here. And I'm gonna melt some cheese. I'm doing jammy eggs. Um, and then I'm gonna do these ciabattas with some melted cheese, a jammy egg, and a piece of bacon. Yum. I can vouch it's unbelievable. <laughs> oh, that yeah. looks so good. Did you hear that announcement? The announcement was hilarious. I feel like I'm at summer camp. Okay. <laughs> Tell everyone. But I don't know what he said. I went out there to go listen. Oh, here's what he said. Good morning, campers. Uh, there's <laughs> a five-year-old uh, named Joseph up here at the office, and if he's yours, please come collect. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You know, that used to happen at the grocery store all the time, remember? Yeah. That, yeah. you know, they'd say, well, kid would there's get a... lost. Yeah, kid would get lost. It doesn't happen anymore, does it? No, because you've got him like buckled in and strapped down. Yeah, that or that or they have a phone and they just text their mom. Mom, where yeah. are you? Mom, right? where are you? I'm in aisle seven. <laughs> they wouldn't know to look up for the aisle number. They'd be like, "There's oranges around me." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We fixed our electrical issue. For some reason, the it stopped receiving a charge from the panel, and I was over there kind of fussing with it. And a gentleman came up and he says, "I'm a Sparky. What's going on?" <laughs> And so anyway, that kind of prompted a whole diagnostic, not a diagnostic, but a little bit, where we come in here and we started looking through the rig and looking for the panel. Sure enough, the, the panel was uh, popped. So we put, turn it back on, we're back in business. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. And then the hose, I couldn't quite reach the hose from here. And so I was talking to Simon, our neighbor, and he says, well, I got a hose, you want a hose? So he came over and gave me a hose. And then another gentleman came over and he says, where are you all visiting from? Yeah. So anyway, and he was telling us some good places to go and yeah. to go see whale watching and Yeah, so seals. check out at 10, but it, in, unless someone needs the site, it's, we've noticed it's pretty low key. And so it's not much of a problem. Yeah. But it's hard to get out of these parks with uh, all the conversations you have with locals. So well, anyway, Simon next door said we should go to Payne. Like it's yes, a I wrote it hole. down. Payne. So you want to head to Payne and then go to Takaka to go to the spring? I think we might forget the waterfalls, mm -hmm. do the Payne swimming hole then do the poo poo springs mm -hmm. and then start driving south and starting to make some make some traction. progress yeah we got to get down to queenstown we got to hit the west coast mm -hmm. we got to hit maybe the glaciers going to milford sound mm -hmm. there's we have still a lot to do. we have a lot to do hey, that's us hey guys thank you okay. Is it A little road coffee? Yes. A little road brew? Yeah, Ford. Payne's Ford. Simon recommended this on our way out. He was our neighbor. He said, as you're going up to Poo Poo Springs, stop by Full Payne's Ford. You'll see it when you cross the bridge, there'll be cars and a bunch of people parked. See, they just he said, came out a, with towels. Yeah, there's a swimming hole. Bring a towel.
I didn't know where I was gonna land, right? Yeah. Because of all the vegetation blocking it. But I thought when I was coming down, that's how it was deep enough to stop. Trish ended up going back. She, she was not really interested in this, so she went back to go reply to emails. She says she hardly ever has an opportunity to do that because when she, where she's in the rig, she's always busy making things, answering questions. So she's gonna go take some alone time in the rig, reply to emails. I don't blame her. Sounds like a good plan. How's it going? Great. Was it fun? Yeah, it was fun, actually. It was refreshing. I put my feet in. Yeah? What did you get done while we were gone? I did some planning so okay, that good. we know what to do like in Christchurch and Queenstown and tomorrow. And okay, I, I was talking to some people down there and they said that we really missed Abel Tasman. It's really okay. something to see. That's why most people come to Kai Terry. Why did Terry. we miss? Well, I think it's because we didn't want to spend $500 to go get in the boat and go up. But they said that you can, uh, that you, they said you can drive down and maybe take the boat to Anchorage. Yeah. And then go from there. And they said, if you're fit, you can just walk the half hour each way. But they said the beaches over there are magical, and that's why most people come to Kai Terry Terry. Oh. So I think that might be something while we're in the area we work, that's worth looking into. Okay. But we can review our plan. Great. What's for lunch? Well, I have some extra bread and I have some extra meat, so I'm making little mini burgers. Little sliders? Yeah. That's locked, that's locked. Are your bedroom things locked? Do we have any idea where we're staying tonight? No. Let's go to the springs and then we'll figure it out. Do you want to go take a gander at the the Freedom Sites tonight? Because uh, well, I don't have any groceries and we hmm. have a full gray tank, so Ugh. I don't know if that's going to work out. But well, it's three thirteen. By the time we do the springs, it might be we might have a hard time finding somewhere. Yeah, we might. But let's go do the springs. <laughs> 